morning people uh, thank you for subscribing and sharing the channel I'll keep delivering these daily tips um, yesterday was a bit tight um, there were a lot of uh, places let's see if we can find some winners today um, okay so it's Wednesday the 5th of February we're gonna go to the first race we're gonna apply the show ratings chart only uh, as you can see there's nothing there but if I was to play so I'll probably be looking at Robot Boy but there's only six runners so I'll probably leave it alone um, just to mention that I, I did mention yesterday in the videos the horses that I would be selecting to place and they all did place so it was a hundred percent place uh, yesterday on my place selections on Betfair but that's a separate video this is the Akka that we're trying to find so on to the next race we'll see if we see anything well yeah the favorites very prominent so he's got to go in Blank Langadan So we're going to go to the next race. So we see if there's any free runners, so we'll leave that alone. Five runners, we'll leave that alone, but I would be definitely looking for Vado Forte to place. Uh, again, not very prominent, but I would possibly be toying with these two to place. I'll probably back them both to place on Betfair. Possibly the Eagle's Nest, because he's slightly higher than Equide so yeah that he would be my place selection on Betfair I say he I'm, all, I'm just always saying he could be any of them uh, this one are going to the Akka Liberty Bella it's got a turnover getaway Thodrick we'll put that into the Akka Uh, pretty solid, however. He has got course and distance form. For some reason he's got no R, O R. Average rating. I'll probably leave it alone. It's a little bit tight. If I was looking for a place bet, it would be big impact. He's got a bit of distance, form, and Tom form average rating is quite high. So big impact to place on Betfair. bit tight possibly possibly put Knight of Sin into the Akka yeah we'll go for that one because it looks quite tasty across the board as you can see highlight and the green show across the board um, we're going the distance the course the course and distance and the OR average rating are quite high he's definitely going to be in the frame 100% place or seven runners possibly three selections on Betfair um, but we'll put him in the Akka anyway the unfortunate thing is with the echo I think he's got to come in the top two so we'll review him at the end um, nothing very prominent there okay so I think the favorites got no no Tom form rating obviously it's the first run so stay out of that but if, if anything was going to turn it over you would probably be looking at uh, Torado, Taranda, Tronada to place on Betfair. Eight runners, you get four selections, 720, you probably get about 1.8 to place on Betfair. <coughs> um, okay. Can Van Hoof, he's got no course, he's never run at course. Uh, so he's been probably running at Wolverhampton. Don't look at him. Newcastle, Wolverhampton. Never ran at. Um, where is this today? So that is putting me off. Otherwise, if it had a bit of course and distance form, I definitely would have put him into the frame. So we'll stay out of that one at Southwell. Again. No, no course and distance form. It's a bit off-putting, but I will put him into the frame because he's definitely the better horse. Mombeg Gold. It can show up today. A bit tight there. I'm possibly looking at uh, Cape Hideaway to place, but there's only five runners, so I'll stay out of it. This is quite prominent. It's got a little bit of course 
and course and distance yeah that would definitely go into the frame come on Teddy see it's a really simple picking process um, probably stay out of that one that black was quite possibly that to place on Betfair would have come in Again, no course and distance, so oh, well, I'd stay out of this race. This is the second race at Wolverhampton. Although the favourite is very prominent, there's a couple of horses in there that potentially are better. It's quite tight, as you can see, between these two. It's possibly a two horse race, looking at the odds. Yep, yeah. it is a two horse race. And you would possibly be looking for Never Dark to turn over Matt Morgan, but we'll stay out of that one. That's got some course average rating for can. So possibly four can to place on Betfair. Probably get about two. And nothing very prominent. It's quite tight races at Wolverhampton tonight. Um, very difficult, very difficult. I'll possibly look for Tarbay to turn over the favourite. I'm going to put Tarbay into the frame. Again, really tight. So Kabush has got a lot of going, going for him. <laughs> Course average rating is quite high as well. It's quite an experienced runner there. Not a distance though. No distance. Nothing's run at distance. What is the distance? Nine point five. That's something I've got to code in. Nine point five is an actual obscure distance. It's almost between the mile, isn't it? So the distance, yeah, between just over the mile and 10 furlong. Got to code that in. Bear with me. This one might flag. Uh, we'll have a look at that. Mm, this one at Wolverhampton. Bit tight between that and that. Probably looking for. It's quite prominent, that is. I'd probably look in that that is the spirit to place on Betfair. Top four finish. Probably get uh, probably get about 2.5 to place. Which is good odds. Over double money. Um, the four favourite is quite solid there as you can see. He's got course average rating. Official rating average. Distance is not too bad. I would definitely be looking for Boy George to place at Wolverhampton tonight in the top four. But he's not going to go into the ACA. Although I might be kicking myself later. And the last at Wolverhampton, again, not anything's quite prominent there. To place, quite like the look of that one, even though he's not got an, a great Tom Form average rating. It's got experience across the board, nothing course and distance. The distance is obscure again, nine furlong. No, I just thought you ran at nine furlong. Anything ran at nine furlong? No, nothing. Nothing's run at nine furlong. What about a mile? A lot of stuff runs at mile. The highest rating there is Queen of Silka. And it's quite high in the official rating as well. That was 36 days ago. What's he looking like there, Queen of Silka? Who's the favourite? Okay. No, I'll definitely stay out of that. I can't see anything that's definitive. Okay, so we've got six selections at, uh, today. Relatively decent odds, nothing crazy. Um, that's 2,901 acre, so a pound. Each way returns 2,940. Um, and then the lucky 63. If you were to do, say, a 5p lucky 63, perhaps, um, that would return 674 pounds. 
So yeah, good luck if you follow that today, guys. I'll be on it anyway, and uh, you'll be crying because I've won. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the videos. Hope you enjoyed my felt my follow methodology behind picking these selections via Tom form. I'll get that 9.5 furlongs coded into the site and keep throwing the development ideas at me. Thank you. I hope you enjoy using the site. Bye-bye.